at the time you were asked to join the patrol team? Do you know the kind of work the patrol team was involved in? This is a for patrol team. We have a lot of work. We have a lot of work. We have a convoy of form. We have a lot what I can say about the patrol team at the time is that they used to go on border patrols. They used to uh, form convoys, go and come back. I also hear that they conducted arrests and other things, but I have never seen that myself. What were the other things that you heard? Good afternoon to you, Mr. Witness. Good afternoon, Ma. Can we start now? Yes, please. You've mentioned that you were asked to join the state guards, right? Yes, I'm going to go to the state guards. Yes. Lamin Baji testified before the commission. Lamin Baji said that the commission was going to go to he told the commission that you, uh -huh. Uso and himself, yeah, I were asked to join the patrol team. What do you have to say about that? That is the truth. Uh, for you explain as I understand. Let, let me explain so you could understand. You can do that. Oh, for okay. When we were transferred to the state guard, that General Baji direct. We went direct to General Baji. But General Baji, when we met at Glass House, when we met when we meet General Baji at the Glass House, Madam, I will for Molly. He he said a few things. I mean for Molly, what he said to us. What he said to us was this. Uh, right now, President Al Al Samana put a letter to the patrol team. But right now, it was the president that brought us to be members of the patrol team. Ah, uh, but I tell him you wrote. But in his own mind, we should be on the ground and mingle within the state guards with the state guard personnel. Because right now, if we said that we are, we are going to join the patrol team, because at that time, their name was already solid. That was at the time that he said that we should report to the then commander, Lamin Sane. You said General Baji told you that the patrol team's name was spoiled at that time. Exactly. General Baji in the patrol team I talk we had a back What did you understand by what he meant by the patrol team's name was spoiled at that time? Nako patrol team to kuyata le wo tumo. I tell a mirror to koto community. I will at low understand. Kabre a kumofo. Well, he is the one that uh, understands the, that statement. After your meeting with General Baji, General Baji did you get to meet with the patrol team? For any patrol team, kafu mul nata nyoje lebang. Hadi? Yes. Buso yung kumandi? Buso called me. And that phone you coming going? Then Noah met at Kololi. He said to me that uh, we had to meet Noah in Kololi. Mfano nga Baji call, Lamin Baji call. So I also called Lamin Baji. I said to him, they, they said that you should come so that we could go and answer to Banua in Kololi. Who was Banua at this point? And can you please give us his full name and his position? Jumalem Banua at your tembo, a tomu me obe funying, a ning abe palas jumal totum. At lem patrol, patrol team lo commander ye. He was the patrol team commander. Major Noah Baji. Major Noah Baji. Can you please tell us what happened when you went to meet him? When we got to the restaurant, we asked Noah. We asked for Noah and he came outside. At that time, there were some of his colleagues seated inside. But at that time, they were all fully dressed. We found them there. Noah came outside. Restaurant 
at the entrance of, to the restaurant. At the He spoke to the three of us. To tell us to, that. patrol team That we are supposed to join the patrol team. But he also said, told us that we would not be joining the patrol team directly. He been used as intelligence officers. But we are going to be used as intelligence officers. Saturday, Kono. Inside the the, the, the the town. The president of Tambikan. When the president is uh, passing by. Convoy. Through with this convoy. Mata siloko nga siloko njibe. We should go along the highway and observe the highway. Yeah. So at the time you were asked to join the patrol team. Patrol men bitung ikoite kafu patrol team. Please do answer truthfully. Do you know the kind of work the patrol team was involved in? Yalo na utumo patrol team kamu ndo kufasoni na kwa utumo bang. Ndi zami phone patrol team lugo ni mi loi lugo kuto utumo ikata boda patrol day the iko convoy form ikata ikana. What I can say about the patrol team at the time is that they used to go on border patrols. They used to uh, form convoys, go and come back. I also hear that they conducted arrests and other things, but I have never seen that myself. What were the other things that you heard they were accused of? I hear that they kill people, but I have never seen that. Okay, we'll move on. Time to you had told us that while you were training, you were asked to go on a mission by Major Rambo. Major Rambo Nata for Ali Uli Alieta Doku Doke. Can you tell us about that? We were in Kanilai. Major Rambo came and said to us that there was a mission in Banjul so that we should be prepared in the evening. We bought vehicles to go to Banjul. As at this point, did they tell you what the mission was about? From that time, we were not told what the mission was about. Did they tell you where this mission was taking place? When we were living there, he said the mission was in Banjul. We went until we reached the Hamza Barracks. Mulori Hamza Barracks. We stood at the Hamsa, Hamsa Barracks. They said that we were waiting for Oya, Jallo. Oya finished at Banda. And Oya came outside. I made a demand because of our telephone sort of earlier. Uh, it took a long time, some time, because of he lacked a telephone. Remember, you told us that you rode in a jeep. Ah, how can I say that you're not going to phone me? I'm going to take a jeep or a car. Ha, kabin fura jana ngomoto falin na Sulemana moto tura jile. Yes, but when we arrived there, we changed vehicles. Michael, Michael, jata la pickupo kono. And so Michael, we we changed vehicles. And Michael la wo borundi kang. And joined Michael's pickup because he was he was the one driving it. So I sat behind while the vehicle was stationed. So I sat behind while the vehicle was stationed. You mentioned that you were in Michael Correa's truck. Michael jata. Michael Jata, sorry. Michael Jata struck. You said the person's hands were cuffed. And the feet were shackled as well. And you did state that the purpose of putting him in the middle is to ensure that he does not run. At this point, how Otembo. is a person whose hands and feet are bound, how would that person escape even if the person is seated close to the door? Otembo. 
And it wasn't the best way of security. No, that is the best way of security. So your role, in essence, with Buso, was to ensure that he remains in that position. Flanked by both of you. Adi. Yes. And restrained in a way. And Yes. Tell us about your journey from the mile two prisons. Silambirali wulta mile two kasola alitato wo allow tato of Kenya fanya bang. Kabin kara range oro. While on our way to the range, mfuta airport Johnson. We got to the airport Johnson. Mutol be lota. All of the vehicles stopped. Why did the vehicles have to stop? Muna na mutolu lota. I saw that all of the vehicles were, 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 were stopped. When the vehicles stopped, I saw Nyabali got up from the seat, the front seat. He turned towards the inmate. He took a plastic bag and, and, and put it over the inmate's head and strangulated the inmate. When did Nyabali ask you to hold this person? When you, the inmate was strangled to death, after, after he slapped the inmate's uh, uh, neck until you can hear the cracking sound, and when the inmate when he released the inmate, the inmate fell. I said to Nyabale, the inmate has fallen, and he said to me, uh, get hold of the, 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 the inmate. Of of so I, I took hold of the inmate and, uh, and seated him properly. But if I release, he, the inmate goes uh, head down. I came to hold the inmate at that time until we got to the range. Now let's go back to the time the victim was being strangled. Now, at the time the plastic was being put over the victim's head, did the victim just allow them to put the plastic, Nyabali to put the plastic over the head? Any resistance did you? I did not see any resistance. Well, Mr. Sambo, yes, please. that to me will not be normal. Someone seeing someone that is about to kill them. And the person calmly allows it. But you have to say about that. But you have to say about that. But you have to say about that. The only person that can resist is, is the only person that is free. But someone that had uh, his or her hands cuffed and legs shackled, how could such a person resist? Amadou Baji testified that both him and Oya had to restrain the victim. Because the victim was fidgeting a lot. And mind you, the victim was restrained the same way as yours was in your vehicle. I can only talk about the things that I saw in the vehicle that I was in and not what happened in the other vehicles where I was not in. You just trying to extricate yourself from this particular incident. If I left a farm, jam fandi la faro la le kafo, ima beta ni mari la faro le. 
No, my left company is not in the I was part of them. No, I, I am not trying to extricate myself from, from, from it. I was there. I was part of them. It happened in my presence. I was part of them. It is, was, was after when this guy strangled, strangled the, the, the inmate until the person died. And then he said to me, hold the, the inmate, and I participated. So I was there all the time. In essence, you're trying to minimize your own participation in the manner in which this particular victim was killed. To God, I'm telling you what I know. Let's move on to... What happened after this victim was strangled? The convoy departed to, to the range. The convoy departed to the range. We got to the range. Nyabali again. Nyabali again. In meto mimba bala. Mene bala. In met mimba buso bala. The inmate that was seated beside uh, buso. We found a plastic bag on mimba kumoto. That one also, the plastic bag that was over the, that inmate's head. I found a press. He also pressed that one. So we do not allow the inmate to to hit the door. Buso when he was telling Buso, do not allow the inmate to, to hit the door. Buso was by the door. So was by the door. So Buso push and pull him off the wall. Because of the push and pull, which he was trying to avoid, I strangled to death. He strangled him to death. Well, this time around, even with the tight space, there was push and pull. No, there is no push and pull because the place is so tied up. Push and pull, Mandraji. I did not say push and pull first. Akam. You said it, and I repeated it. Remember? I remember. I quite like push and pull for we will not make a kind of bunda ma. We will not finance it. I can. Ah, because Kabria account did it. Yes, because when the inmate's neck was being strangled, Busho jump for the other morning, girl. Busho was a little bit far away from him. So we will not say that Nyabali ko busho ko kana jump for because he can make bunda la jamisa bunda busa no. That was when Nyabali said to Busho, do not be far away from the inmate because the way you are, you are drawing away from the inmate, you may knock the door. This is a three passenger vehicle. Four. We Back four. seat, we are three. Number four. Back seat was three. Only three people could sit are authorized legally to sit yeah. at the back. Yeah. And uh, you guys were four. Yeah. Two victims. Yes. You on one side. Buso uh, was on the other side. Yes. An already tight room for poor, poor people. Yes. So how can Buso be far away from this particular victim when the victim is being strangled? What I observed from it was that he was not prepared to take responsibility. Sorry, I'm a bit confused here. Was Buso or you not willing to take responsibility? Who was not willing to take responsibility at this point? The first time for my responsibility, I don't want to participate. Individually, in the beginning, I was I don't want not to participate. prepared to take responsibility. I did not want to participate.